YTPC, Board of Smoking Pipes here. Well, it's Tuesday. This week, that means it's Monday. Or actually Tuesday. Beginning of the work week, either way. Had yesterday off. Hope everybody had a good Memorial Day. Got out and took care of business. Spent my weekend doing yard work, talking to the trees, running a chainsaw. Let one of the limbs get me down a little, little bit. Reminded me I'm not quite as young as I used to be. It's all right. We got a bottle of ibuprofen and chew them two or three times a day. Still managed to make it work. Now I got a hangnail. Now I got a blister. Lower back's out of calibration right now, evidently. Just add it to the list, man. <laughs> add it to the list. Seems like the older we get, the more things get out of calibration. Now, I've worked on machines most of my life. It's amazing how they run. Got 10 miles of wire in them. Bunch of sensors, relays. Now computers on board. You know, you think about all that, just how amazing that is. But they only last two. Of course, they run them all the time, but the machine stays tip-top shape as long as they want to put some attention to it. They start neglecting it, it starts going downhill. Same way the, same way the body. You overwork it. Neglected things start going downhill. Think about it just for a, just for a second. All that went into the makeup, the fact that with a thought you can move a finger or that finger or that thumb. Every piece. When you think of it from a mechanic's standpoint, industrial mechanics, all the communication and all the wiring that goes in to make that happen. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So, instead of taking yourself for granted, think about it for a minute, just how amazing it is that what you have has worked so well for so long. And I realize that people get sick early and Things don't work right early on, and some of them do. And I wish it wouldn't for them, but, you know, I think sometimes we forget just what it takes for us to function. It's just too easy for us. Housekeeping. Forgot. Mr. Brog's Amigo 51. She's a clancher. She don't get very hot either. I mean, it's good thick walled. Likes to sit. We got that bottom on it. Pretty good pipe. I'm not opposed to a good hardwood pipe. People talk about hardwood versus briar, and briar is a lot more dense. There ain't no doubt about that. Make it hard to cut. I imagine the boys that cut briar have to sharpen those blades a lot. 
Reminds me of that Osage orange, like what bearded damper uses. That's some hardwood. <clears throat> I used to cut it for, uh, well, for firewood. You ever get caught burning it in your stove, they'll uh, avoid your warranty because it'll melt the rivets out if you put too much in. A lot of the old timers used to throw one log of it in the bottom and surround it with oak because that one would last all night. Keep them warm. But anyway, yeah, I used to cut it hard on a chain. You have to sharpen that chain three times as much as you would anything else. And I mean, that's that's staying out of the earth. That's just limbs. You get down around the stump, it's not unheard of to catch a little bit of dirt or rock or something with a chain. Bound to do it sooner or later. But. Oh well. A little Tuesday ramble for you. Boy, Peter Stokeby's English. I like it. Waiting on my order of Benzantium to come in. <laughs> Got it back in reserve right now. One of the websites was back ordered on Byzantium and Old Joe Currents and I think even Haunted Bookshop. They had a back order on most of it. <laughs> had to start shopping around. I put out a sale flyer and half the things on sale. They didn't have. I mean, the email came in about the sale. The minute it came in, I went straight to the website, and back ordered was the word of the day. Website kind of frustrates me anyway. I go to look at their stuff on my phone, and it's always jumping around. I'll scroll down and then it'll scroll me back up. I'm not going to mention the name. I'm sure if you ran an Android phone and went to that site, it's done it to you too. Oh well. Beard, I'm open to mail around your house today. Need to, uh, if you haven't, go check out Chris, ALS Piper. He done him a tour around the fire station down there that he was stationed at for a long time. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Yeah, I kind of like that old pipe. I'm thinking about picking me up another one, maybe a different color. Keep it in the rotation. Believe it or not, this is my car pipe. I keep it in the car, I clean it, leave it in the car. Good solid pipe. I got a Mr. Brog little Zulu pipe. It's a small little pipe. It's got stuff decorated around the bottom. I kind of like it, but I don't know. I got mixed feelings on it. I guess it's because of the size. I didn't think it'd be that small when I ordered it, but oh well. It smokes well. It's the only one I've ever owned that had a stinger in it.
Stinger does come out in that Zulu. I went ahead and pulled it out. Then I put it back, but I made up my mind on the Stinger thing yet. I think I got it too hot, though, and I think I bubbled the the uh, coating on it. I don't know what they put on it. If that's the case, I'm sure me and a sanding wheel will go to work on it, and it'll be recoded Ford fashion. Another one of them I'm thinking about modifying. I got that freehand smooth from Grebo. I know I've shown it to you several times. And I like the rusticated version better. Thinking about taking Dremel and rusti rustification in. I think it vents, vents the heat better. There's something to be said about grooves and things creating more surface space so that uh, more heat can be released. I know that's true. More surface space is done on air filters are pleated so it picks up more dust and more surface space to collect dust. I know that for a fact. I'm kind of wondering if I need to save them with heat. Well, I know you increase the surface area you'll increase the places for heat to be expelled at. I don't know. Maybe I should just uh, smoke slower and it'll get as hot. Go figure, right? Hmm. Well, YTPC, I'm going to take my stove up back up in here and See what they got going on today. See if we can hold them together one more night. One night at a time. Y'all be safe out there. Old Ford signing out.